Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today is gonna be an old-fashioned moto vlog, right back from the old days of riding Java. Today I want to tell you a little story, I uh, share with you some stuff that you may not know about me. Um, but first, let me just lay a little bit of groundwork, okay? First, you need to know that in Indonesia, um, sate is a very popular food here. It's kind of like, we'd probably call it a shish kebab, but it only has meat on it, right? It's got a skewer with meat and usually a peanut sauce and it's cooked over a, over a fire. And so sate, right? It comes in all different types of meat. You can get beef sate and chicken sate and goat sate and even get pig sate here in Indonesia. Pork sate, sorry about that. But um, one of the things that they have here, it's kind of a specialty, depends on the area, but here in Yogyakarta, if you go up to Kali Urang, you can get rabbit sate. If you watch my videos, you know that I like guns, that my family likes guns. We like to go shooting and uh, have fun, right, shooting guns. But the thing that you may not know about me is that we like to go rabbit hunting as well. When we lived in Utah, we would uh, go out in rabbit season to go hunting rabbits. Now, usually rabbit season in the United States, it depends on the state and the area, but it's usually in the winter, right, when it's cold and uh, already already has a frost right there's already been a frost on the ground and usually that's rabbit season at least for cottontail rabbits right because there's different types of rabbits you have jack rabbits and in utah where we were jack rabbits were open season all year long you can shoot jack rabbits all day long as many as you want because they were considered a pest right and so but nobody really eats jack rabbits at least in uh anybody that i know but cottontails that's a different story those are the cute little fuzzy bunnies those guys are good eating and so we would go out early in the morning usually sometimes in the evening but usually early in the morning as it's just getting light it's when the rabbits come out because they live in holes in the ground normally or underneath like big rocks and so they'd come out and they'd be sitting out there maybe they're they're eating a little snack waiting for the sun to come up and warm them up and then uh, we'd walk really slow, we'd walk really quietly through the, uh, through the desert there in Utah. I'd look up on the hill and you just see him sitting there. Maybe like 50 meters, 100 meters away. And that's your time. So we shoot him. And uh, after I shot the rabbit, then the, uh, the kids would run up there and they would grab him. And uh, they were like the retrievers <laughs> for the rabbits, right? And so they'd run up there and get them. And I think at that time, the law was you could get four rabbits per day. And uh, that was a good amount of rabbits for to eat because these rabbits are pretty small. They're just wild little cottontails. And so like one person could eat a rabbit, really. And I think we would eat three normally. That is the Moto Vlog for today. A little bit of a rabbit hunting story there. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what other kind of stories you would like to hear about, okay? Put them down in the comments below and I would love to uh, love to share more with you. Just let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to hear about. It could be stuff about America, stuff about my life, stuff about anything. It doesn't really matter. Whatever. Let me know. If I like the idea and I think it's appropriate, then I'll probably make a moto vlog about it for you. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I hope you have a great day and keep smiling.